Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Sunday, August 20th, 2017. The tarot card for today is the Knight of Swords. Oh my goodness, what can he possibly mean here, right? Tomorrow is our new moon, total solar eclipse in Leo. And by now, most of you are chomping at the bit. If not only just to see the eclipse, if you're in the U.S., then probably for all of the hype regarding the changes that you are hoping it brings to your life. Wow. Now, one of the things, let's talk about different things about this card, okay? You know, one of them is to act impulsively or irrationally with this card. And we do have Uranus in the mix at this time. So this is, if you are prone to, you know, kind of just speaking before you think, or whatever, think about that. It might be better to say nothing. It's that or you're all in because it, it's kind of that type of an energy. And it goes with the eclipse where it, it just, things just happen. You know, it's like you turn around and boom, you say something. You can't take it back. It's that kind of an energy that's present today. And if you're on the receiving end of this, it could feel like a challenge. Because this card can also represent a challenge as well. So, you know, you really have, you know, it, it, it has a feeling of intensity. But it doesn't have to be bad. It's all about, really, how in control are you. If you're tending, you know, if you're known to tend to fly off the handle over anything, then you're probably like a loose cannon today. And you might want to think about that when you get up in the morning. I don't know if how one does that. Do you isolate yourself from people? That's not always possible. But do you see what I'm saying? We, we talk about these energies and with the full moons and the new moons. And this is like, pff, forget the steroids, new moon on steroids. It's crazy. This one is intense. And like I said, you also have Uranus in there. So it's one of those anything can happen kind of moons. And if something does crop up out of the blue, the question is, how are you going to handle it? Are you going to handle it without thinking? Or are you going to try to think it through rationally first? Because impulse is not your friend here, okay? It's it definitely, you know how when they say that eclipses, you know, have like a note of finality to them? And these eclipses have a lot to do with relationships, okay? If you don't care how a certain relationship is going, go ahead and say it. Go ahead and do it. But if you really want to, you know, maybe reassess the relationship and work on it and see if it's reparable, yeah, you might want to hold your tongue. So, you know, there, there's a lot to think about. This is, this is just, I don't think I can say enough to really tell you how the eclipses can affect you this way. I've noticed over the years that just with full moons, full moon, I say more new moons, actually is what I meant to say, that new moons, people tend to be more cranky, more critical, and, you know, not as nice. So whether this is you and you're reacting to the moon itself, or whether it's someone else and they're in your midst, this is a big turning point right here. And it means many things to many people. So how you handle things coming into tomorrow's eclipse is entirely up to you. And it could very well steer the course of things to come. So I want to thank you all very much for listening. I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.